I am frightfully excited. My Alsatian tore off a witch hazel branch and I was very upset with her. And I cut them off and put the, planted them in here and look, one, two, three, four, they're all leafing. So I think I have five witch hazels coming on. They'll have to stay in this pot and be really well minded this year. And then maybe this autumn I can uh, transplant them into a, another uh, separate pots. But that's frightfully, oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'll have to really TLC these this summer. Oh, look, you're being very helpful. These are my rowan seeds, so I won't see if they're coming up till later in the spring, as long as cats don't do something inside. This is what these sticks are for, are to prevent cats from doing their business in here, but it doesn't prevent them from jumping up on the box. <laughs> these are a lot of cuttings that I've taken. This is their second or third year, depending. There's uh, more seeds, I can't remember what those are all the way over there. More seeds sown, probably trees. So these are all the apples that I um, potted up that I got. A lot of rare apples. And um, they're looking well. Their buds look like they're still alive and coming along. And this is a uh, wonderful Japanese maple. I love the pink wonderful it's in here for protection from the storms and the weather and stuff like that really now look you're my precious witch hazel look i was just showing everybody how precious those are you're look you are so bold you are so bold he's right in the pots come on okay if i put that there look he is literally sitting in the pots Gardening and cats, I tell you, I've admit, really, really having a bath in a pot. Sometimes, Inca, Inca doesn't have baths in pots. Look, what, do you, what were you sitting on? What, what am I growing here? I have so many, I've crossed out so many labels. I try and reuse these. Uh, cherry. So these are cherries that I planted that I'm hoping will become cherry trees. And you are sitting on them. Are you warming up the soil so they germinate and sprout? You bold cat. So you can see gar cats are very helpful when gardening, aren't you? You're bold, completely and utterly bold. Oh, I'm hoping to plant some water lilies. I've never ever planted water lilies. Here's Pepper and the other dogs. So I'm hoping to plant water lilies in this huge tank. When we were fixing it last year, the fissure are in here, um, I put some stuff in there so that I can lower pots of water lilies in. And this is the month to plant water lilies. And this uh, rain tank is from the rain of the stables. And this section here gets the sun. That section doesn't get that much sun. So I'm hoping if I plant some water lilies, I will have water lilies in the, um, this summer. So you can just see the um, cement things that I laid down in there on blocks to lift it so that it's not too deep. And there are fish, you can see the fish are still alive. They're deeper down because it's still very cold. But yeah, so that's another thing that I'm gonna try for this year. But I'm loving my uh, hellebores. These hellebores are doing fantastic. These are planted about 15 plus years ago. It takes a while. Oh look, are we gonna jump up and go fishing? It takes a while for them to flesh out, but that's many, many years. And these are looking good. These are some primulas. And then I love these lovely blue plants. I'm gonna call things plants. My tulips are coming up. And look at these red ones. These flower on and off throughout the year. So 
of a minute. What are you doing? Really? So there's tulips are all coming up over here. There's some more primulas. There are beautiful colored primula there. And there's another primula. These are all primulas that were given to me by a friend. And this is another primula. So a whole series of primulas all along there. And then um, these are all doing well, but look at the, um, there's a bumblebee there. Where did he see it? There he is. Ooh, he went away. But these were all planted. These have been here for 10 or 15 years now. And you can see I'm being very well helped by Oven Mitt. He wants to be very involved in the gardening today. But there's Euphorbia. There's uh, Hallibors all the way along here. There's some bluebells, some foxgloves, some honesty, more honesty. I love honesty. Oh, look. And there's some beautiful honesty blooming right there. There's also coming up, these look like thistles, but uh, they're a kind of decorative uh, artichokey, thistly thing. So this is um, an area that's sheltered by the sun in the mornings during the summer. So yeah, no, it's looking good. And all the dogs, everybody's being very helpful with the gardening. So that gives you an idea of what's coming up and coming on. Look at that. This is a wonderful, I can't remember who gave me this one, but this is a lovely hellebore. Look at this hellebore. Oh, isn't it just beautiful? Next to this hellebore, which is different again. Do you see this one is white? Whereas this one has the speckles. And then this one is just green. So there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six different hellebores along this stretch here. And then over here we have seven and eight. We have two other hellebores. So there's um, these two hellebores. There's this one here, which is a lovely one. And then this one here, which is another lovely one. And more bees. Look at that honeybee. Where is it? There it is. Having some hellebore food. So, oh, and sorry, I think this is another one. This is a different one, I think. So that's three more. And look at who's just so picturesque under the hellebores. Inca, what you doing? Yeah, fat. Yes. And I love the snake grass. Looks beautiful. I did a huge weed out here last year, so the snake grass is recovering. Hopefully in the next few years, it'll really recover. But last year, the snake grass was great, but so were a lot of the weeds. Oh, look at this loving, poor old man. How are you doing? Yes, yes. Good dog, good dogs. Oh, and the wallflower is here. And look, there's gonna be loads of tulips. So the tulip season is gonna be fantastic. This is the bed that had the uh, hydrangea. No, not hydrangea. What am I talking about? Dahlias. This was the dahlia bed last summer. So after the tulips are over, I'll be planting it again with um, all my dahlias. What's up? What's up? Total love fest. Inca's trying to get Bear to play. He's trying to grab his tail. <laughs> oh, there we go. A love fest. On that note, I think I'm going to go and um, do some more work. <laughs> Poor bear gets bullied by two tiny terriers when he's just trying to play with his lady friend. <laughs> well, there you go. Cats and dogs. The two other boys, I don't know where they are. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. I should be planting potatoes today. <laughs>